What's up guys? Today is Friday. Finally Friday because it's snap on Friday. Right there's Hamilton. Woo! It's gonna be a good one today. Y'all come on. What'd you just say? I was telling Clay, I was like, I had a guy text me one day. He's like, do y'all really drink beer on Fridays at lunch? And I just text, like, I didn't know who he was or anything. I text him back, I said, is this question real or fake or uh, what's your point, you know? <laughs> Not trying to be mean, I'm just trying to understand so I know how to answer the question, you know? He's like, no, I'm being serious. Like, is it, y'all really drink a pitcher of beer? I said, yes. Fridays at lunch, we drink a pitcher of beer. He's like, what do you do about the rest of the day? I said. What are you talking about the rest of the day? It's Friday at lunch, you go home after that, you know? <laughs> That's right. It's just a, a warm up for the weekends, all yeah. that is. Man, this weather is nuts, ain't it? Yeah. 30 degrees in the morning, 80 degrees at lunchtime. The next day's 40s and 50s. <laughs> That's what Monday. I didn't. I usually try to look at the weather at least two or three times a week. Of course, this bad, this weekend all the bad tornadoes and stuff. I didn't have time to look at the weather. Monday I wore blue jeans, sweat all day long. All day. You know, air conditioner running. It don't matter. Humidity so bad. That's what well, the rest of the week. I've been wearing shorts, and my tennis shoes. Summertime gear. Yeah, I seen a picture the other, uh, this morning. Actually, somebody sent me and said, only in Mississippi do you open up Christmas presents and have the AC set on 60 the same day, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Every other, the last three or four years, I remember going outside, the kids playing with Christmas presents and you got your shorts on because even if it ain't hot, the humidity, they would have said 110 or 115, I don't know how it's over 100%, but yeah. I mean, WTVA be posting this at 115% humidity today. Like, how do you even get that, you know? But whatever, though. It sucks. That's what it does. Yes. Yeah. It's hot, and it ain't even hot outside, and it's hot. Well, I do want to come back to this, but everybody bitches if we don't do some tools. So we'll do some tools and come back to normal stuff. I see you got something cool sitting up there. He's pretty cool right here, of course. Everybody knows, like, this ain't Snap-on or Blue Point, blah, blah, blah. But you hear snap on, we got the four piece set and we got three piece set. The uh, four piece set for the automotive, three piece set for the HD stuff. Both of them are very good sets. Uh, they do overlap a little bit. Uh, CTA covers all that with one set from your smallest ones all up to your biggest ones. Uh, they might look familiar to y'all if you don't look at the name, but if you look at this side, they look very familiar to you. Right. There's a reason for that. But we get these six piece sets uh, for about like 80 bucks, less than $80, I think. Right. So I assume you probably ordered them in for a customer. So, like, that's another thing I think a lot of people think like a Snap On guy can only sell Snap On tools. Right. They forget that you guys can sell other stuff too you just might not stock it on your truck right you can prime example right there with that cta kit yep and don't don't discount your snap on dealer for tools ask, and like ask, especially shop equipment because just like with our lift in there it's a challenger's owned by snap on right yep. and uh you know, the Challenger lifts is sold everywhere. I mean, you can buy them at AutoZone or whatever. Always check with your dealer because it might surprise you at what, what they, they can get or what they yeah. can't. Yeah, and I get people ask me all the time, and I, especially like guys that move into our territory, all the dealers that's close to me are, they're like, in my immediate territory, I think we got like seven of us. Um, most of us do pretty close to the same thing. Mm. Some of us are... I mean, some of them don't, but me, I say there's probably like four of us that will do whatever we got to do to help our customers out, whatever it is, you know. And I've had guys I've told, like, 
if I can't find it, I will get you a phone number of somebody else that can. It right. might be another tool dealer. Right. But I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure that I help my customer out with whatever it is. Because and I said it on here, and I told Clay, like, I don't consider myself a tool salesman. I consider myself a customer service salesman is what I am. I'm going to do everything I can to help you out. Right. If it's if I can't get it for you, I'm going to get you in touch with somebody who can get it for you. And But like stuff like this or stuff like a lot of people think, I mean, like these right here. Uh, made through Electronic Specialities, Max Fuse Buddies. Mm -hmm. uh, we have, Blue Point has stuff that's similar to this. Obviously, being Blue Point, it's going to be rebranded through somebody else, through these folks right here. But they don't have this particular set. But we can order them through them or through other other companies mm -hmm. that we, where we can get that kind of stuff for you. Well, I had one guy talking about, he's like, Snap-on sells Mac guys? Or uh, Milwaukee is what he said. I was like, well, they don't, well, yeah, I guess they do sell it. They can order it. Yeah. You know, they, they may not stock it or whatever. He said, well, I asked my Snap-on guy about it. And he's like, no, if you want electric guns, you got to buy a Snap-on. I'm like, no, he can order it. He may not choose to sell you right. that product. but what, Well, there's, I mean, there's a lot of dealers out there that's like that. Like, if they don't have this name on the side of it, they're like, I'm not ordering it for them. You right. know, I just ain't going to do it. Well, I'm going to order whatever my customer wants or needs. Well, to, I mean, you, if you don't do it, Joe will or Michael will or yeah, I mean I'm know, going Mac to do Michael whatever will, I can something. do to make the money off of the sale. Right. Whether if it's this or if it's Milwaukee or if somebody calls and say, "Hey, I need a, a Ryobi leaf blower," I'm not going to say, "Well, go down to Home Depot and get it." Mm -hmm. I mean I'm going to order you one. Obviously, none of the two companies that I order from sell Ryobi, but if I got to go to Home Depot and buy a Ryobi leaf blower to make customer A or customer B or C or whatever happy right. over here, then uh, I'm going to go get them a Ryobi leaf blower if that's what they're asking for, you know? <laughs> I'll order it off of... Hey, I, mean, need a, I, need a, I need a beer kegerator. We can get you one. It might not say <laughs> Snap-on on it, but I can get you one. It'll hold more than a gallon. Well, <laughs> if it don't say Snap-on, can it at least say Joven's Tools and Equipment on it? What? You we'll got put, a Sharpie, We'll heck? put yeah. whatever you want on the side of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we showed a little tools. Now I want to ask the hard question. Have you finished your Christmas shopping yet? Well, I only buy Christmas for one person. And I say I'm 50% done. I got one Christmas present, and then I'm going to buy one more Christmas present. Or I got it then. Right, I'm just waiting on it to get here. I got it ordered. I'm just waiting on it to get in. Uh, but as far as like Christmas for my kids and all that, I'd have to get back with you after I talk to my wife. <laughs> <laughs> so we was talking about this earlier and uh, Hamilton asked me that same question. And so here's the deal. Let me tell you guys how you can earn a lot of brownie points with your wife, okay? Like women are sneaky. Whether you want to, Bad. whether they want to admit it or not, they keep up with them bank statements. So they know what's going on. So what I did is I went and pulled some cash out and went and bought my wife's Christmas present where she wouldn't know what it was. So when she asked, hey, did you, uh, you got me anything for Christmas? They always drop in little hints, you know, they like, man, yep. that looks good, don't it? Don't you think that looks nice? You just have to pay attention for them. Or there's a commercial comes on and they mention something about it. Yeah. Like you just got to pay attention. So this is what I did this year. I decided to keep all that secret and ignore everything. Like even if they send you a, a picture of something, you know, just ignore it. So I went out and I bought her Christmas presents, paid cash for it, and I got them wrapped. But I'm gonna keep it double top secret. Like I'm not gonna put them under the tree till we get ready to open she, pre yeah. presents, right? Because she's done made the comment that hey, I'm gonna just order myself something. I wrap it and put it in the tree for me. Like I don't know who you're trying to fool. Like her kids know Santa Claus is. Santa what, Claus, it is like, what it is. he knows yeah. he's in the North Pole and you got to write him a letter for it delivers yeah. it. Like, you ain't wrote no letter. So, uh, this year I'm going to let her order her own gifts in and then I'm going to slide mine in at the last second. Oh, snake <clears throat> attack. Yeah, that way I can make, get that guilt trip next year. I can get something really good yep. for Christmas. <laughs> I, and my wife's the same way. She'd be like, well, I done told you six things that I wanted. I'd like, you have not told me anything you wanted. Well, I'd drop you hints. 
Like, no, look, let me back up. And I tell my wife, and I, t- I tell her this multiple times, look, say what you mean, mean what you say. <laughs> like, you and, if you want something, just yeah. say, I want this. this. That's what I tell her. I said, send me a list through text message. Don't tell me. If you tell me, I'm going to forget before we leave the store, you know. She told me, I, I'd like this, or I'd like yeah. that. Well, you're not getting this, or you're not getting that, because I'm not going to remember it. That's just, <laughs> it is what it is. Send me a picture or send me a text message, and I will get you whatever you want, you know. And uh, I said, I'm not going to buy all of them, because then you'll be expecting all of them. Yeah, but, that could be bad. Yeah. I am a little bit hard-headed, and I've all, I told my wife from day one, say what you mean, mean what you say. <laughs> she tells everybody I screwed up one year. I tell everybody she learned a lesson one year for her birthday. <laughs> My birthday oh, is one day earlier on. than hers. She didn't say nothing, did no, she? Don't give me anything. I don't want nothing. Dude, that mm. is a trap. Oh, it that is. That is like I, a straight up, like you're walking into the bowels of hell right there. Like that's the portal to get you <laughs> like this. I was married about five years at this point, And I told my daughter, she was about five years old, I told her, I said, I may not be living with you this time next week. I said, but we're going to see how strong the marriage is. <laughs> or your mom was going to learn a valuable lesson. Well, I will tell oh, you what. Man. I, I've been paying for that for 12 years now. But she learned a lesson. She has never once ever since then told me, I don't want anything or don't give me nothing. But oh, every year she'd be like, I've been dropping hints for months now, so you better get me something. I like, well, you better send me text messages or you ain't getting nothing because I don't know what you hinted on. Honey, well, don't lie I'm to just going to say this. If your girl says, I don't want nothing. It's a test and you're going to fail. And you show up to the party empty-handed, you, better, you have lost. Yeah. Like, even if you just get her a card, don't show up to the party with nothing. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, don't. <laughs> yeah, and that's what Ooh. we we talked about this too a while ago. That's what told Clay. I said that my wife she wants and she wants to be surprised. So she says a lot of things. I get text messages every day or a picture or something like I wouldn't mind having this. I wouldn't mind having. I like this. I like that. That's why I tell her. I said, don't if you like it. Do you want? Well, I really don't know if I want it. Don't send me pictures if you if you like it, but you don't want it. You know, because <laughs> yeah. I'm liable to go buy that. that that's confusion. You know? yeah. yeah, I mean it might be. A purse, or it might be a car. Don't send me pictures of something that you like, because I'm gonna like. <laughs> I but, tell you what, it ought to be a new rule. Like it ought to be a law that the woman has to send a man a list, or what would be even better is go ahead and put it in a cart. Yeah. And that way, have ten things in there. That way, depending on your level of screw ups, like how bad yep. a boy you've been that year. Yeah. If you've been bad, order all ten of them. Yeah. Like, but if you've been pretty good and like, you know, you ain't messed up too bad. You just get one or two of the things. That's, I tell you, but don't show up to the party. Don't anymore. show up empty-handed, especially at Christmas time. <laughs> yeah. That's what uh, Clay knows. I'm sure a lot of people know is like, business calendar runs from like August to August, or August to July. I'm not yeah. sure why they're not January to December. It's October to October. Yeah, October yeah. to October, something like that. But it's it's different from the regular calendar and whatnot which confuses the heck out of me, but Christmas is a calendar for women, you know? And women or men are on the different ends of the calendar. Like, men's Christmas is at the end of the calendar. Mm -hmm. So as as bad as you screwed up all year, you got one chance to make it up or whatnot. Women's is at the beginning. Women's is at the beginning. Depends on how you do Christmas is how they're going to do the following year. So, yeah, yeah, it's a trap. It's that cycle, Yeah, you know? And we was talking about another cycle, too, a while ago. When man Hamilton was growing up, like you got different classes of people in Mississippi. Like there's there's dirt poor, yep. and there's middle class, and there's your daddy's got a lot of money. Yeah. Like that's how it works. Silver here. spoon type people. So like if your daddy's got a lot of money, you're the kid that wore the guest jeans and you know uh, the fancy shirts. You know, blah blah blah. You didn't shop at Walmart or TSC. Normal or people, normal folks like below the daddy got a lot of money they shopped at regular stores so like when i grew up i had to wear champion because that's what walmart sold and it was a cheap brand and that's i'm fine with that yep and eyes odd that was not a very expensive brand and carhartt i don't think i ever had a coat that wasn't a carhartt coat till i started buying my own clothes as a teenager when i had a job 
So Hamilton was talking about this. Tell them what the number one I was, clothing article that's is. That's why I was telling Clay. I was listening on the radio the other day, uh, the other morning, Bobby Bones show. Everybody, uh, nationwide, everybody heard the Bobby Bones show. They was talking about the number one clothes manufacturer that sold clothes this year. So I was listening. I was like, I want to see what it is. Like, I'm sure it's be something I ain't never heard of. Polo or, or yeah, something Patagonia like that. or North Oaks, Abercrombie yeah. and Finch or something. They said Carhartt. And the guy, lunchbox on the died out laughing. He said, there's no way, no way. And there's like Carhartt was the number one selling clothes the last 365 <laughs> days a year. I was like, is that not crazy? I wear a Carhartt when I'm working on these houses and stuff, yeah. so I don't tear holes in my jeans or yeah. if I'm staining something up. It's nuts, <coughs> man. Yeah. And, and like, I, I son, like my son, he wants circle. a Carhartt coat this year for Christmas. He want, I was like. You got three of them. They got holes in the elbows and everything else because we work out of them, you know. But he wants a nice one. Like, Carhartt don't make nice clothes. They're work clothes, you know. <laughs> and that's why we went to my niece's basketball game last night. And I don't pay attention to what people. I don't never pay attention to what people's wearing because right, I'm not better than nobody. Unless except, they got a Snap-on logo on it. Yeah. Well, I noticed that, but that's why I tell you. I'm not better than nobody but two people and I ain't no mention their names. But now nah, I'm playing. But, uh. I was sitting at the gym after we stuck on him, and all the kids with Carhartt boots on. They would lace up. The, I ain't got nothing that's this color, but it's the tan, like yellowish yeah, color yeah, boot. The, the ugliest. Carhartt I, tan, yeah. yeah. I would Carhartt never wear one of them color. pair of boots in my life. And I bet I counted 50 pairs of boots like that in the gym <laughs> last night. Like, they're uncomfortable. They're durable. I ain't never seen no diesel but, fuel yeah, transmission but they, or that, motor they were the cleanest shoes i've ever seen in my life <laughs> all 50 pairs of them cohort boots last night but well it's weird because you know like my son you know last year it was i want champion hoodies champion pants i'm yep. like and i had no clue with a circle fad or whatever you call it i was like dude champion is cheap crap like when i was young like nobody wanted to wear champion you yep. had to use champion you, yep Cause that's what Walmart sold. You wanted the Nike or the Reebok or the Adidas or definitely not Champion. Yeah. And he's like, no, Champion's the coolest thing ever. I'm like, and then me being the genius that I am, I said, well, the next thing bell bottoms will come out. Guess oh what? My God. Guess what? There they are. They're back again. My, my daughter is 16 year old. She's my height. And that's what I laugh at her every time she come walking out when, I mean, the bell bottoms from here down, I mean, at yeah. the bottom got to be this big. And I yeah. think it's the goofiest the, thing in the world. The new and cool And she's like, way. this is what everybody it may wants. Not, it, wait a minute. Let me stop. It may not be where you live because we got some people that live away from here. Yeah. But where we live, bell 1970 <laughs> is the end. <laughs> right that's what I thought my like daughter. We're finally up to the 70s. I'm going I'm to take you to my grandmother's house and let you go through her closet. Absolutely. She was like, please do. I would love to do it. I said, I'm not taking you to my grandmother's house and let you go through her closet. That was a joke. <laughs> I mean, like, they want, like, oh, the flannel shirts. Like, crazy. I'm yeah, sure Clay's had a dozen that. flannel shirts. Hated or the flannel jackets. The ugliest. I mean, you couldn't yeah. walk through the mall without getting a cookie bar stuck to the flannel, and you couldn't <laughs> yeah. get them off of it. There's but, somebody watching this video right now that has no clue what a cookie bar is. <laughs> <laughs> or how hard it is to pull out of that, that With, flannel. Uh, <laughs> and a cookie bar get on that flannel jacket, and this, you oh, might as well get your pocket knife out. Well, that's terrible. Somebody's Googling Cookaburra right now. <laughs> Guaranteed. <laughs> the things you learn on this channel yeah. far exceeds tools. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I did have a, a viewer question. I think you said he called you. Daniel Tubbs sent in wanted to know, what do you do when your Snap-on dealer retires? Uh, he called me also. Yeah. Um, he got a dealer that's retiring. I don't know the amount of money that he owes anything but that's all that don't matter but say like if you owe what's that a thousand dollars to your dealer and your dealer decides that i'm gonna leave on this date blah 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 and you still owe him a thousand dollars on that date if they got somebody else coming into that route they will purchase that from your dealer purchase at a the debt part in the yeah. debt yeah. Um, and that's what most dealers want to do because they want to get out of it uh there's nothing wrong with your dealer saying and i wouldn't do this because i'd just like cut me my check let me go 
but some dealers, and that happens the same with people transfer. Like if you got a, a guy with your route and he transfers to a different shop that's in a different guy's route, that's the same thing. Like I transfer your route to them or your account to them, right. and they would buy it for X amount of dollars on the uh, for whatever's owed, or whatnot. And it's the same exact thing when you retire. You would sell it not through Snap On. You still own that until they find somebody to buy your route from you. Uh, you still own that. Still own the debt. You still own the debt. Right. Uh, it say they're up to you. Some guys, like when I bought my route, the guy collected uh, the debt down, way down. So when I bought it, I didn't have very much debt to get into from him because he stayed like, he's like, all right, I'm done selling. Here's my truck. You can have all this stuff back, but I'm still going to collect my money down because it is his money. Mm -hmm. So like with uh, Daniel Tubbs, like if his dealer leaves at January 1st and they don't have nobody to take his route, his dealer can still collect that money down. I mean, it's his money. Right. You still owe your dealer the money, no doubt. Uh, ain't like you get a, you know, you get out of jail free yeah. card like you yeah, still you owe ain't it, gonna right. get, Yeah, you're not going to get the free tools or not. Uh, a lot of times, though, like a lot of places, well, me and uh, Keith Hazel, we overlap through balling. I run half a balling, he runs half a balling. I got guys that get pissed off of me, and they like, I'm going to deal with Keith. Take off. Okay. Yeah, I don't care. I mean, you bother. And he got guys that do the same thing to me, and uh, or do the same thing to him to me. Keith's a great dude. We get along great, work great together. We both understand how it is, so we deal with it. But. Keith can be like, well, I'm not transferring him. Or he'd be like, hey, I, I transfer part of it because his account is so big and then mm. blah, 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 and transfer it piece by piece at a time. And that happens a lot of, a lot of times also. Uh, so if your dealer transfer it, it's better because then they get paid for it right then. Of course, a lot of dealers worry about like, well, I'm going to lose money. If I transfer it out, I'm going to lose money. They're not going to lose no money. You ain't lost hey. money on money you ain't collected. Have yeah, you? you're not going to lose no money. You're get paid enough to cover your cost on the tools. Uh, so you're not losing money. Yeah, you're not going to make the amount of money that you wanted to make, but you're not losing money. So uh, it is what it is on that part. Now, if your dealer is selling you other stuff that he might not have got from Snap On that's not a set price in the system, mm -hmm. like there's one dealer that was in our territory that he would buy, like if somebody needed a set of tires, he'd be like, I'll pay for your tires, and I'm gonna sell them to you for, if the tires cost me 500, and you can't buy them, I'm gonna sell them to you for 1,000, I'm financing them to you. And guys are like, that's fine with me, I pay 100 bucks a week on them, because I can't afford the tires right. or whatnot. And with that kind of stuff, it's a little bit different, because you're setting the prices, you're doing this, you're doing that. So like say, if, if you owe $2,000, but you got two accounts with me, one is snap-on stuff, and one is non-snap-on stuff. I'm gonna say you snap-on stuff at, we'll say 75 cents on the dollar, but I'm gonna say you the non-snap-on stuff at 85 cents on the dollar. And you can do that too, snap-on and negotiate. Well, you're not negotiating with snap-on. Snap-on's just the, the people backing whoever. And I figure so, a truck, or uh, that would probably be for truck accounts, but like the, uh, Toolbox accounts that's financed through Snap On. That's, so, yeah, where you like EC accounts. I'm is, sure you'd is, have to call and be like, Hey, run my debit card every week until uh, well, like where the dealer goes the out. Yeah, uh, if you got a Snap On account or EC account, uh, or somebody, some folks I've heard the older folks called a nationwide account. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure where they come up with that because Snap On never, never says anything about nationwide account, but some of them call it that. So, like, if uh, you have an EC account with Snap On. And your dealer leaves, Snap On will get in touch with you because they want their money. They're right. like, hey, uh, we can set you up through auto pay. We can draft it out of your mm -hmm. checking account. We can run your credit card every Friday. We can run a debit card. We can do whatever. I got guys that are set up through EC accounts, so we call and get them set up through automatic payments so they don't have to worry about it on the truck. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them, like, I got one guy I see every Monday. He, When his scanner is paid off, he trades it in for another one. That's just he said that's just what he does, tax write-offs for whatever reasons. And he wants it set up They where Snap-on drafts his account on the first for the full payment. Like whatever it is, if his right. payment's All $300 weeks, that month yeah. and he's on draft for the whole thing. He said that way, which I understand is, it's kind of funny, but I understand what he's saying though. Like his wife 
what she sees that snap on draft to her account, she don't say nothing. But when she sees that Jovens Tools and Equipment, because that's what my business is called, you seen it on your card, mm -hmm. they don't say snap on it, it says Jovens Tools and right. Equipment. But she's like, well, why are you paying Jovens Tools and Equipment $200 every Monday? <laughs> and she don't realize that 100 of it is snap on, you right. know? But so he does that. He can get away with buying more stuff that way. <laughs> It's all about the articulation. Yeah, and I told a bunch of people this. Like, I had a guy call me one time. He's on vacation. He's like, hey, I'm in the bathroom at the condo down here. I'm like, well, why are you calling me for, you know? He's like, well, run my card for the full payment Friday. Because I, I run his card at that time every week for 50 bucks every Friday. He's like, keep running it for, I was like, you only owe $13. He's like, run it for 50. Yeah, don't stop. Because then like, I'll lose that $46 yeah. and some change. Well, he said, <laughs> and I was like, well, because he told me, he said, we're going to be gone for three weeks. Because he's going for vacation with her family for a week and then vacation with his family for a week and then probably a week to recoup, I imagine. So I'm going to tell you, if he can go on vacation for three weeks, he needs to be paying more than $50 yeah. a week. Like, and, I'm just going to throw that out there. Yeah. He was like, <laughs> and then every week, just run it for $50. Mm. And I'm like, but you paid up. This is when I first got him. This is probably within the first year of business. He's like, I don't care. He said, my wife knows that I pay $50 a week on the truck, but she Gotta told me, there. she told me, she's like, when you pay off, don't buy nothing for a while. Cause I'd like to pay off some other stuff too. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I got you. He said, so I think that's what I told Hamilton. If it ever gets down to zero, which it's only been there like twice, <laughs> but it, once it gets there, just keep running. Yeah. Like it'll be okay. I promise I'll let you know when to stop. Yeah. And that's what he told me. He said, just keep running it. He said, because my wife don't know how much I owe. She just knows that yeah, my, my payment's pay. 50 and when it's paid off, don't buy no more for a while because I want to pay something else off. That's he it. said, so technically, we're not getting paid off. And that's what... <laughs> we'll never be paid yeah. off. And I think we're still running this payment for 50 bucks a week. <laughs> At one time, he had like $800 that was built up in credit. Of course, We just want to make sure that we don't lose. <laughs> <clears throat> it's kind of like in a war. The ability you know? to buy, yeah. It don't matter how far or long the fight lasts. It don't matter how much men you lose. You got to win, right? You don't want to lose any ground. So that's that's the way I kind of look at it. You know, just keep just keep doing what you're doing, and and it'll be all right in the end. I had a, I'll tell another funny story real quick. I had a customer this morning call me. He's like, or it wasn't him. It was his wife called me. She's the secretary at the shop. He's the owner. Of course, they got three or four guys that work for him and stuff too. She's like, hey, she said, I think you ran my husband's card twice this week. And I'm like. I double check it, so I don't think so. And uh, what it was is like, I see him on Wednesday. He told me he's like, we ran this car for hundred bucks, and he's like, hey, go ahead and run it for another hundred because he's wanting to buy some more stuff. Yeah. Well, I guess he didn't tell her that. Uh -oh. She called me. She thought it was my fault, and I'm like, I ran it twice Wednesday. I said, but your husband told me to run it for another hundred. She's like, okay. She said, well, he didn't tell me that kind of uh -oh. stuff. Oh, now he's in trouble. Yeah, now, went, you was mad. She was mad at you. And yeah, she's mad at, at first him. my. And this ain't the first time she's calling me asking Hamilton about stuff. Hamilton knows how to play ping pong. He'll yeah. bounce it right back at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it might be my fault, but she'll be mad at you for off the phone. That's, you know? that's all your fault. <laughs> but yeah, that's what. Uh, I can't. I don't know why. He, yeah, he bought some more stuff to want to run it for another hundred just so he didn't build it up too high. But It happens. It's, it easily happens on yep. this truck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we're going to go in there and finish the day up and uh, get done and call it a week, call it a weekend. Hamilton said he was going to be off next week, so this will be the last time you all see him before Christmas. So Merry Christmas to you. Yep. And, uh, We'll see you before New Year's, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. I'll be back the following week. But like always, guys, thanks for hanging out with us. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. Let's check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. And if you're not subscribed, click that button. Don't forget that great life advice I got so your wife will owe you next year at Christmas time. See ya.